Alice Gray and welcome to another episode of Grey Matter, the series of science shorts that talks all things brain and cracks all things cranium. In this episode of Grey Matter we'll be looking at the rare neurological condition alien hand syndrome. Alien hand syndrome is a disorder where patients will experience random hand movements that they're not in control of or even aware of. They might find that their alien hand grabs for things or even hits people without even any knowledge of it happening. A lot of these patients have had their left and right hemispheres or the left and right hand sides of their brain separated. This is an operation that can be used to treat severe cases of epilepsy. But alien hand syndrome can also be seen in cases of stroke, aneurysm or even Alzheimer's disease. This is because the fibres that join the two sides of the brain, the corpus callosum, are damaged in some way. And these fibres allow the two sides of the brain, the left and right hemispheres, to work together. The left side of the brain operates the right side of the body, and the right side of the brain operates the left side of the body. And therefore, if the corpus callosum is damaged, it can cause problems in the left and right hand sides working together. Patients who have also suffered damage to their frontal lobe can also show alien hand syndrome. This is because the frontal lobe has some control over motor movements. As well as the alien hand doing random, uncontrolled movements, sometimes the alien hand and the control hand can work to oppose each other. One patient with alien hand syndrome found that as her controlled hand lifted a cigarette to her mouth to smoke, that her alien hand would slap it out of her hand and throw it away. She then concluded that her alien hand didn't want her to smoke anymore. One patient with alien hand syndrome woke up to find his alien hand strangling him, and one 83-year-old woman was actually scared of her alien hand because it would slap her and she couldn't control it. Some patients will find that as their controlled hand turns the light on, their alien hand turns the light off again. Or as they're packing clothes into a suitcase, their alien hand will pull them out again. This can be quite frustrating, because patients can't control their limbs, and sometimes it's even doing the opposite of what they want it to do. In order to deal with the condition, many patients will personify their limb and give it a nickname. And although there is no cure to alien hand syndrome, we can alleviate the symptoms. We can reduce the unwanted movements of the alien hand by keeping it occupied by giving it an object to hold. One patient found that as he walked along, his alien hand would grab out for things like doorknobs. But if he gave his alien hand a stick to walk with, it stopped it from grabbing out at things. Some patients find that by slapping their alien hand when it's doing something they don't want it to do, it actually provides some form of relief. We can also use a kind of Pavlovian conditioning to relieve some of the uncontrollable movements. So when the hand does something the patient doesn't want it to do, the patient can play a loud, irritating sound, and with time, the hand will stop doing these movements. So that's all for this week's episode of Grey Matter. Stay tuned for next time.